Hi, I'm Elvia. I just um, wanted to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about me and how I ended up here and starting this YouTube channel. So, um, I want to start off by saying I'm a wife, a mother of three beautiful children, and I've recently um, gone through a spiritual awakening. It, it's almost been three months, just about three months of my search for the truth. Um, it's been difficult, it's been lonely, um, but also the best thing that I ever could have done for myself. And um, just searching, wanting, wanting that search for the truth is what got me here. And now knowing the truth, I just want to uh, share my journey so that if I'm able to help or even if somebody's curious, um, I could be here as a support because I know that this journey could be uh, very lonely, but but it's not, it's the best, <laughs> it's the best journey, I want to tell you that. So do it, keep searching the truth, do not accept this earth that we live in as the truth, um, because if you do accept it, you're going to stay in this truth. And let me tell you, the truth is so much more beautiful and magical um, than what this earth has to offer. And uh, us as a collective have accepted as correct or the truth and it's not okay so that's exciting um, knowing that there is more than just this and actually that's how I got started on my path my spiritual path was just a search a search for the the truth I wanted like to know is why are we here like this sucks <laughs> um but as a as a kid, I've always been super sensitive um, with uh, you know people being mean or the injustice around me or in the world. Um, for example, you know like wars, um, poverty, how how it it could even exist when there's you know people that have so much accumulated and then there's you know people who are homeless or you know mothers with children who are go hungry mm -hmm. um we don't have to have that and and then on a more personal level um there was a series of events that recently had gone in my life where i just felt um mistreated abused whether it's verbally, um, emotionally, it's, it's not right. And I, you know, I would cry, I would get super emotional. And I finally, I was like, what is this? This is a horrible place. And that's where um, I got started. So I, the first thing that I did is I picked up this book. The Mastery of Love by Miguel Ruiz. It is so beautiful and full of so much knowledge. Um, he tells us about love and relationships, but he explains in depth what love actually means. And it's not the, the love that we just throw around every day. Um, he teaches us that love is actually unconditional love. And once we truly love ourselves, then we could love somebody else in return. And that because we are only love, we will only give love back. And that we're responsible for our side of the street, so to say. Um, anything that comes out of our mouth, we are responsible for putting it out on, on this planet. And we are to be careful not to spew poison out of our mouth, but to only speak love. And anything other than love is a lie, which is the truth. <laughs> so I started there and 
that was huge, huge breakthrough for me. Um, but I wanted to dig deeper. So then I started really cleaning out um, my chakras. So I started going through all of them. Um, and it's, it's not easy, it's hard, um, but it's worth it. And it'll free you, it will free you. So I recommend going through um, all of your chakras. Um, I went on YouTube and went to this wonderful gentleman who really broke it down for me chakra through chakra um, in a way that I could understand. And his um, his YouTube channel is called Astral Doorway. It's A-S-T-R-A-L Doorway. Um, I'll link it, I think. Um, <laughs> my kids will have to help me. I don't know how to do that, but I'll definitely link it. Um, so that helped me a lot. Um, and then I just after that, I started going on a quest like different um, religions or belief systems. And I got a piece of paper, I mean, not a piece of paper, a whole went through pads of paper and really just started researching everything. Um, and in the end, it all led me to Christ. All roads lead to Christ if you're willing to open your eyes and listen. So that's what I did. And let me tell you, I was very relieved because um, some of the things I was like researching and going through rabbit holes, I was like, ooh, some of it sounds right. And then in my gut, some of it was like, ooh, I don't know about this one. Um, so just kept digging and digging. So I recommend that if you are um, in your own quest for the truth, just keep searching, keep searching and don't let me or anybody else tell you, um, you'll find the truth as well. And it's, it's very good. The truth is very good. And there's so much stuff, um, that I've been learning and discovering about myself. Um, one of the huge things I guess is knowing that this isn't the truth that we're living in. And, um, it's what we're made to believe. Um, so if you just have an open mind, you have to have an open mind because we're all taught here on this planet that to have a closed mind and that everything else is a lie and all those like theories are lies, um, but it's not. <laughs> the truth is we are all made of magic. We all have magic inside of us. We just have to unleash it and the way to unleash it is through love unconditional love because that's how we get to god we are made in his image and once that we truly love ourselves god is going to show you all of your magic inside that you were born with um so that's what i'm discovering right now and um, that will probably be a different video um because as I, it is already i'm probably very long-winded <laughs> But um, just very quickly, uh, one of the paintings that I did was this um, Sunflowers by Van Gogh replica. And I had um, channeled messages through here. So I'll take a picture of that and um, download it. Is that how you say it? On the page. And you could see if you see any of the things that I recognized that were definitely channeled through me as I painted. Um, so beautiful things like that from my ancestors that I've been blessed to see. Messages um, from my spirit guides, which um, could be angels that have passed away recently. And also um, ancestors from many, many, many years ago that are full of wisdom that are here to help us. Um, there's nothing to be scared of, it's actually very comforting to know that there is help outside of us and if we're just willing to have an open mind and to have a heart and to accept it um anything is possible on this planet and and beyond that um so yeah um i want to also just share that um what the content i'm going to be um having on this page, which my plan is to share 
Um, my art, I'm not a professional artist. Um, you don't have to be. Every one of us is an artist inside. Um, we just have to find it, find what it is, what our God-given talent is. So as soon as we shut the noise from the outside world and really just focus in on ourselves, you're going to start to find um, your God-given talents and the magic that you have inside of you, which that's what I'm doing and I'm super excited to share. Um, so I'm going to be reading some of my favorite books that have really helped me on my journey. Um, also kids books I want to read. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, I want to share um, some interior design, maybe just like table settings or whatever it is. I'm, I'm very, um, I love to do that kind of stuff. So if we can touch somebody or we can like work off of each other, um, our ideas or, or just, just a sense of support and community. That's what I want to be a light in this world that is that so desperately needs it. Right. So, um, thank you so much for joining me and, um, I hope that you have a beautiful Thanksgiving and always remember that you're not alone that the truth is out there. You just have to seek it um, like I did. And it is the most beautiful thing. God's promises out are, I mean, without words. And, and I encourage you to seek your own truth, okay? So with so much love and light, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget, to subscribe please <laughs> i think i have three followers and it's my husband and two kids so i would <laughs> really like if you subscribe thank you